Hey guys, it's Nikki with This Robin's Nest. So today's video is a home goods haul. Um, if you guys have a home goods in your area, it's such a wonderful store. But as you know, the inventory is hit or miss. So this is a collective haul over, I want to say about probably the past two months, I've picked up just like a single item here and there. And um, you might not be able to find the same items in your store, but maybe you know, you'd be able to search the items elsewhere or um, draw inspiration from them. So I still wanted to share them with you guys. Um, I have been very lucky in the Ray Dunn department lately, at least considering what I normally find, which is next to nothing. So a few of the pieces that I have to show you today are Ray Dunn. So the first goodie that I've got is a Ray Dunn mug and it says early bird on it. And I thought this was so super cute. Um, they did have other mugs. I only grabbed one. I'm just trying to pick up ones that I find that I really, really like because otherwise I feel like you'll just grow this massive collection. Although I was almost tempted to buy more just because I never really run into them very often, but a lot of the other ones had colors, seasonal colors painted on the inside or seasonal pictures, and I really just like the black and white collection. So early bird mug, it was $5.99. I can't even tell you the level of excitement that I felt when I saw this item at Home Goods, and it is a Ray Dunn dinner plate, and it says Dine, and this is so classic. It's pretty heavy, substantial. It reminds me of a collection that I had from Pottery Barn, which was really good quality, and these plates run $7.99. I love the font on it. I think it's so classic and clean looking and just um, also really whimsical at the same time. So I was so excited to find these. Have you guys ever used the dinner plates by Ray Dunn? Let me know if you have. I still haven't washed these up and used them yet. So I feel so spoiled with the amount of Ray Dunn that I've been able to find lately. And, and really, um, I've got a mug, you know, the plate, and then the item that I'm gonna show you next, which isn't like a ton of stuff, but the amount of time, like just within a few weeks or a month or two, I've found all these things. And before, I've only found a few pieces like in the last couple of years. So it's been really fun for me. And um, this is the final piece of Ray Dunn that I've picked up from Home Goods recently, and it is a trio of planters. And again, just really classic and clean, and only with um, the wording which says um, comfort, peace, and serenity. So I love, love, love that. If um, you wanna see what I put in these little pots, you're gonna want to watch my next video, which is an Ikea haul and how I use it in my house. That'll be the next one to post um, to YouTube and if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen a snapshot of my cart. You can guess what I've put in here, but that video will be coming after this one. Um, and this is great for year round again, and uh, because it doesn't have any seasonal colors to it. So I love, 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 love all my Ray Dunn finds that I've gotten at Home Goods lately. Finally, we have this gorgeous pillow, which actually my daughter found. And I was like, oh, thank you. She knows my style so well already. She's only eight. And look at this beauty. I mean, the detail on it is so much fun. I love the tassels hanging off the side. It's very, you know, reminds me of... Um, a relaxed style, farmhouse style, but also a little boho chic maybe. So, and the texture on it is really great. The backside almost has like this gray linen fabric. And I love the pom-poms up front. It's really, really fun. It does have a zipper, so um, you can take it off. You could use the insert with another pillow cover. Um, I'm sure this one is spot clean only just because of the detail on it. And it's almost got like this yarn. So anyways, yes, this is the last item that I got. So a small haul, but all really great finds, all pieces that can be used year round. And if you guys noticed, I'm really starting to gravitate towards neutrals where I used to be a big pastel. I still love pastel colors, but I'm finding that I can incorporate them seasonally <clears throat> and with just touches here and there, but really I'm moving a lot towards classic neutral palette in our home. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one, which will be posted shortly after this one. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, hello to everybody new who's watching my channel. Thank you for your support. Um, thank you to everybody who's been loyal to me since I've started YouTube. And really because I don't post regularly, um, it's kind of sporadic because it is still just a hobby for me at this point. 
Um, oh, I also want to tell you guys um, that I'm going to be doing my home tour. It is going to happen. And my goal is to have it up by the end of August, but I have a feeling it's going to be more towards um, the first to second week of September because once my daughter starts school, um, I'll have a little bit more time to dedicate to that and we are going on a couple of trips end of summer and getting her ready for back to school. So the intent is August, but it will most likely be an early part of September. So keep an eye out for that. I know it's my number one requested video is a home tour. We've been in our house for oh, uh, over a year now. So I feel like there's a lot left that I want to do, but I'm just going to show you guys where we're at um, today in that process with um, what we've completed so far. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that and I will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.